Hey YouTube, Mr. Black Mama 305 here with you again. And today I want to do a video to give back to all my subscribers. You know, obviously you guys uh, tune into the channel. It may not might not be a lot of you guys, but the few that come in and tune in, I really do appreciate you, man. But before this video start, please, if you want to help the channel out, go ahead, like the video, subscribe. And if, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Greatly help me out. I got a little tongue tied there. Sorry about that. But as you guys can see by today's topic is if you want to no longer buy any of these, do what I tell you in this video and you won't have to buy any more of these expensive splatter targets. All right. So before we start, you know, everybody know uh, you go to Walmart or you go online. These splatter targets are amazing because uh, if you're shooting at distance, safe, not so much like uh, 7, 10, 15 yards, 25 yards. But if you're shooting at anything 50 yards and 50 yards, 50 meters and beyond, you know that these splatter targets are amazing. They just, they help you to dialing on your accuracy. If you're shooting for a target, if you're trying to get, you know, MOA at 100 yards, whether you're in a 22 or 6.5 Creedmoor or whatever the ammunition is, uh, that helps you so you don't have to waste a lot of ammo. Um, and you can just dial in that rifle and just go in and enjoy just shooting accurately as hell. So these spider targets are amazing. So guys, um, before we go on, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need um, before to get to the point where you don't have to buy these anymore. You're going to have to spend some money, but um, it will be money well spent. I promise you. All right. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, uh, you're going to have to need, you're going to need a printer. So I have a HP OfficeJet 3830. Doesn't mean, necessarily mean that you have to have that version of a printer. Any printer will do as long as it does color. You don't even need it to do color. If you have an old printer that just does black and white or if it does color, then that works as well. If you don't have a printer, you are okay, guys. Then that's what Office Max is for. That's what all those place, those printing places, um, wherever that does printing. Uh, like I said, you're going to have to spend some money. So it, initially, the cost might be a little bit greater than buying a couple of these. But in the long run, I promise you, it's going to be worth every freaking penny. The next thing you're going to need to buy, you're going to have to, you can save any old stuff like this. Stuff that you've printed that you no longer use. This is something, I don't remember what I was using this for. Uh, application for something or filling out a form for something. Uh, I, I printed them. I did. I don't always throw these away. I use the leftovers because I can put these back into my printer backwards and I can use them to make targets on the back. Even if I don't make target, put them in the printer, I can always, uh, I'm going to talk to you about this again further on. What else I can do with these? Uh, there's two ways you can use these and make targets and they're super easy and they cost you absolutely Absolutely nothing um, the next thing you want to go do is um, uh, when you when you go to the range I know a lot of you guys see these left over at the range all the time on the floor uh, normally the garbage bins at the range people don't normally throw a lot of food in them they throw mostly targets you know especially the ones on the range so I know I don't I, I actually dump dumpster dive for these or garbage dive but whether they believe it or not when I go to the range people just throw these down I pick them up because what's important are these little dots and you're gonna need them I find ton load of these all the time at the range people use them they don't use all the targets especially people if people are new they just come they shoot they shoot the target and then they throw these away i pick them up put them in a little plastic bag and i keep them with me um the next thing you want to get is if you go on amazon and ebay you can find these little splatter targets the little ones just like these all right so all you pretty much do go and sometimes they sell them in a little pack where you can buy i think i don't remember how many come on one page i think it's 50 let me see one two three four five six seven eight um this is 816 32 Blah, blah. So it's about, you know, 50 on each page, give or take. So uh, 62, I'm sorry. So it tells you right there, 62 cover up targets on one page. And sometimes they sell these in packs. They sell the, the, the color. You can get the ones with the, the red or you can get the ones with the black. Or, I mean, orange or the black. So you can get them. You know, they're not difficult to get. Um, you go on eBay or Amazon, just look up uh, splatter splatter targets and they'll show you sometimes they come on a little roll, like a little round roll and they come with like 300 or 150. Obviously, the more you buy, the more expensive they're going to be, but they're not that expensive. Like I said, in the long run, they're not going to be super expensive. You want to buy a roll or two of those, uh, those <laughs> sorry, or you want to buy a couple, you know, a couple of these because I'm telling you, these are going to last you a 
long, 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 long time. I promise you. So you're going to need some of these. Obviously, you're going to need a marker. You're going to need a marker. And you're going to need a ruler and a pen. A pen, ruler, marker, a nickel, dime, or a quarter. Nick, pretend there's a nickel, dime, or a quarter. And then with all that said, guys, I don't have a nickel, dime, and a quarter but um, on me right now. But if you, if you get those, you're going to need them. So let's get started, guys. So I'm not lying to you. It wasn't clickbait. You're never going to have to buy these targets again. I promise you. And the reason being, first and foremost, I already told you guys, um, you can order these. All right. And the first thing I want to I want to do if I'm going to order these. Now you go to your uh, stationery store, your um, wherever you buy stationery from. All right. You go there and you buy a pack of cheap paper. All right. Or you can get the ones that you you, you used already. You, you don't throw them in the garbage. You're just going to take them. And when you take them. All you have to do, let me move this firearm out of the way. It is loaded. My finger's not on the trigger. It's not pointed towards anyone. I am good to go. All right. So you're going to get this. Turn it around on the back side. Number one thing you're going to do. when you, I'm just going to use one paper. I messed it up. I messed it up. I don't have a ruler, but pretend that I have a ruler. I mean, I do have a ruler, but I, you know, I didn't take out a ruler right now. So you're going to pretend that you do have a ruler. And you're just going to draw a straight line down and a straight line horizontally, all right? What you're gonna do now is take your, your quarter and you're gonna put your quarter in a center circle. Obviously, that would be your quarter, all right? Q for quarter, all right? And then you're gonna take your nickel, your dime, your penny, what have you, and then they're gonna go here. Obviously, I would do it better with a ruler, but this is where they would have gone, right? And that would be your target. So we have a paper that we were going to put in the shredder or we we're going to throw in the garbage. And now that paper now turns into a target at the range. Some range you can have. You can, uh, I think the range I go to, you're not allowed to have targets like this one. And I'm going to talk about this later. And But you're allowed to have targets like this. They don't want any multiple target like that one. But these ones you can have. So either you get your, your marker. And what you do, you darken the circle, darken the circle, darken the circle, darken the circle, and then put a dot right in there too. That is your target, guys. When you look down range, right, and you see this target, you are aiming at this small dot. It is going to give you better accuracy, I promise you, because it's a smaller square to shoot at, and you see all these dots. That is just one aspect of the target that you can do. All right, so I'm going to use the same paper. I'm not going to waste a lot of these paper because like even this paper that I'm drawing on, I'm going to use this as a target. I promise you, you know, because I don't like to waste the targets. The next thing you want to do, you remember we spoke about these splat targets, these little splat targets that you purchase. Then now what you are going to do is take off one of these little splat targets. And guess what? It's going to be a bigger circle, but then you put it right in the center. When you guys put it in the center, be careful not to rub these around because the more you rub on them like that, the more it's the yellow start, the splats start to come off. All right. So if you want, if you if you've bought a bunch of these and you get blacks and a couple reds or oranges, you put the orange in the center and then I would put the blacks on the outside. And that is how I would create multiple targets like this with a ruler, draw the ruler, ruler. And then I would just take these off, stick them here orange one here black 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 or all oranges or all black however you want to do it and then you're going to put if you want just nice it up you can put the the date of when you went to the range say you put it on february the 5th 23 you can write that down you're shooting your ruger 10 cci you know standard velocity ammo um humidity wind all that foolishness uh 50 yards you know boom and it's easier to write on these targets that you have you can't really write on these that well you could write up there but they're so bulky sometimes you don't even want to write on them anyways so yes that's what you're going to do so that's what you're going to do 
Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, that is one that is one target you can make. Well, I just showed you how to make two targets right there, and that's with the splatter or a marker and a ruler, nickel, dime, penny, what have you. You can get creative with those markers with these targets if you want. Obviously, you can buy these if you want, if you don't want to go with what I'm saying. I'm just being super cheap, and you don't really have to follow up with that. You know, and I told you how you guys can pick up these at the range, or you can just buy them online. All right, so let me put those aside. Try not to make this video super long, but give you as much information as possible. Next thing, if you guys don't have Pinterest, now, Pinterest is kind of like one of those little website or apps that you can go on to and look at different images of you name it you can find an image uh, images of it if it's gun motorcycles bikes trucks uh monkeys dragon ball z you know whatever it is you can find it the uh, pictures of it of inter uh, pinterest you can go to pinterest and say uh you can you, you can put in let me bring these down you can go to print uh, pinterest and type in once you type in uh, shooting targets at Pinterest, you will come up with a lot of different shooting targets. Now, once you create an account, type in shooting, uh, uh, shooting different shooting targets, Pinterest will come up with a bunch of different ones. Um, they give you different designs, you know, different targets. Um, obviously, you, uh, they're in color. A lot of them are in color. A lot of them are black and white, depending on how you want to print them. You can save the images to your phone and then go to a printing station um uploaders like you go to staples if you ever guys been to staples you can just upload an image and print that from there and you can print as many of those images as you want in color or in black and white you can print them in color like i did here um this one this target i did not get from pinterest i went to mytargets.com for free targets and more so this target that i got here from mytargets.com is just these little squigglies uh, squares i think they're one inch squares and then on on each i'm, I'm sorry they're two inch squares because each of this is one inch so on these little two inch square there's a little target on a, a bullseye in each one of them and so there's four 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 you know that eight sixteen seventeen eighteen nine twenty so you have twenty targets to shoot at um uh while you while you are pardon me guys so you have you have 20 targets to shoot at with one with just one target and again uh, they come with colors um if you don't your inker do, your printer doesn't have color they're gonna print in gray or obviously black and white and then you can take off uh these and just put them in that square and then they're splatter targets so you have more than multiple targets to shoot at you can just say you can only shoot at the top ones or or skip every target to shoot at so you have you shoot here this line this line and this line and then you just leave the rest for whatever the hell you want to do so that's mytargets.com you go to there and there's a bunch of different ones you can just print off the ones you like and print them and decorate them however you want if you want to just put take a marker like i did and just put a little dot in there where you can barely see that dot that i think helps me with my accuracy a lot better than when they're these bigger targets when there's these bigger targets it just makes it you know you're aiming at just inside the black instead of that one small dot i think i get a smaller group when i aim with these little dots so um it's not going to be splatter with these but um if you're shooting at 50 yards with like a 1022 this is perfect you know because then it's just those little dots and you boom 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 and you go um again um what i did um i just I, I download one target and then I can put this back into my printer and just copy it and then just, you know, copy it in color or in black and white or whatever and just make multiple of these targets. Um, you see, this is another version of a target. Again, my shooting range, I don't think they allow animals and, and, and clowns and people, all other people kind of targets at the range. So this I really couldn't use, but I just printed this off as a, as a copy. Um, I think I got this. There's a YouTube channel. Um... I uh, can't remember the name of YouTube channel. They always do little challenges and stuff. Um, I guess this was one of the challenges that they had, and you have to shoot within, you know, the, the circle and the numbers and get a score, so forth, so forth. I went there and I downloaded one. And again, I got another one from there. This is the, this is perfect to put like one of those uh, those little um, dots in, whether orange or black, and get a little splatter. Like I said, you get this one, photocopy it make as much as you want and then put those little splatter targets in there again more of the same and again i can't remember 
I can't remember the YouTuber's name, man. Um, he does. He always does the 22 challenge. Um, and they always go back and forth with each other. Anybody remember the guy's name? Uh, uh, just put it down in the description. And this is one of their targets. Um, that they pulled up. Yeah, the date, the time, ammunition, a lot, rifle and the scope, temperature when smallest group, largest group, average group. You know, and then you do that. It was kind of like a little challenge. They were going back and forth between YouTube channels. And then they told you how you could go ahead and get the get the um get the targets. Uh, if I remember, I'm gonna put it in the description where you guys can get it. Uh, I think they have it's called dayattherange.com. I think that's the name of the website that you can go down to and print this target. So if you want, you can go down there, print it, and again, you can put splatter targets on it and still get the same results, or you can color it in with a marker or a pen or whatever you want and get the same targets. And then obviously they have bigger targets like this, more targets that I printed again. Obviously, you can put color splat splat targets on these. These these I definitely put splatters on because it's like a bigger target. You know what I mean? And then just more of the same. But uh, guys, the video is not that long today, man. So I just kind of wanted to make it um really uh, nice and snappy. I just wanted to help out my viewers, man. If you guys ever want to not buy any more targets, guys, this is the way out to do it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm helping you guys save a lot of money. Like I said, guys, if you don't have a printer, then you're going to have to go to, um, uh, one of those printing facilities. Uh, and if, if you, you do have a printer, yes, it's the ink is going to be a little bit expensive, but honestly, guys, I know a lot of people always give eBay a lot of slack, but, um, my HP office jet 3830, um, I bought that at, I think at, um, brands Mart wasn't super expensive man but it does everything that i needed to do um and the ink that i bought for well, when i went to i think office max or wherever or staples to look for the ink the ink was like 60 60 dollars or 59 dollars for color and i was like god damn that's a lot you know it costs almost as much as the printer itself so i said man i can't be buying that expensive ass ink so i went on ebay typed in office jack 30 at 30 and guess what it's on ebay for like 24 dollars you know and it's filled and you know it printed out and like i said the target that i the targets that i have here i think it printed these out and this this one's in gray you know the color is not it's not super red that's not the color it's meant to be but it's it the ink is is last and i've been printing and printing and printing on it the ink hasn't run out yet so i am super happy with it so if you have an old printer man just uh type it into ebay and they might still have ink for it and just use that old printer and i have a, i think i have another printer here too that i haven't even used i just need to buy a printer and like ink and put it and never really use it but that's how you guys can get you know get shooting uh, more splatter targets for less guys remember when you see guys when you guys see these at the range if you see people throw them out just pick them up you know nobody's gonna you know look at you any different just pick them up man and throw them in your range bag and you always have them and then if you have old papers you know like i said uh if you have papers that you print old stuff on that's not you know it's gonna give away any private information this one i just printed it. it was an application for something i didn't fill out anything on it and not only that if you if you put it on a target you take it back home with you you know let's get those paper turn them on the other side stick them in the printer and when they print they're going to print on the back side of whatever old information that you have and then you just go from there and then you have targets forever a pack of these papers at staples maybe run you like 10 bucks some really cheap ones man so say you buy uh this uh, a pack of these that come with like 300 or something like that for 19 bucks this is for 20 bucks this is for 10 bucks that's what 30 bucks already and then you have a bunch of paper the ink is 29 dollars okay say that comes to 60 bucks all right Just say you pay that 60 bucks initially you say i'm going to use all of that to make my my, my targets then you come and I guarantee you say you're just going to print and print and print and print till the ink runs out. Man, listen, by the time you're done, you're going to have a whole stack of targets to use. And you can print off, you know, different targets from Pinterest. Like I said, you can download images from Pinterest. You can go to shootingtargets.com or wherever you can find. Just Google shooting targets, you know, free shooting targets. And I'm sure you're going to come up with a ton load of stuff. Now, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you find this video helpful in any way, shape or form, Feel free to go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, this year, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm about to close to 3,000. If you guys watch this video and want to help me out, you know, put it in the algorithm and help me out, guys. I really appreciate your time watching, guys. And for all the people that are watching that are not in the United States, I also appreciate you guys. Um, you know, I appreciate uh, everyone that commented in, in, in my um, 
in, in the comments and give feedback on anything. I appreciate it very much. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Mr. Black Mama 305, signing out.